seeing dragon coming back down to earth right there. Yeah, this is amazing. This is the first shot of the dragon calf. So coming back uh, as part of the inspiration for mission, uh, the crowd here is super excited seeing that for the first time as well. Um, so yeah, a couple minutes left of um, the blackout period, and uh, we should be getting comms reestablished with the crew here shortly. What you're seeing on your screen right now is on the left-hand side. That is Mission Control Hawthorne. Dragon, GPS converged. Expect nominal altitude for drogue shoot deploy. Come down, SpaceX. We show the same. And those comms confirm that we have regained comms with Dragon. Uh, and they're getting ready for Drogue deploy here shortly. Yeah, I love these tracking shots. <laughs> uh, again, that is Dragon in the center of your screen. Uh, we've got visuals of it. And we're expecting um, Drogue shoots deploy to deploy. And then the main shoots shortly after that here in a couple of minutes. for crew's return, uh, waiting on drogue shoot deploy. That happens at about 18,000 feet. Dragon, brace for drogue window. Got the SP6, we're bracing. <laughs> on re-entry, the team's experiencing uh, about three to five Gs. Um, We heard some words to, to have them brace for drogue deploy. Uh, they will feel uh, the difference in speed when the uh, shoots do deploy. Um, that was what the, co the uh, core mentioned there. That's such a cool shot of Dragon uh, coming back down to Earth. It looks very fast uh, in this camera view here. This is a great shot of Dracken looking up on, at the drug shoots. A lot of communication going back and forth between the crew uh, and ground station, but the drogue's job is to slow the vehicle down from about 350 miles an hour to 120. We are expecting the main shoots for these to cut off and the main shoots to come uh, shortly after this. <laughs> <laughs> and at 4.04 p.m. Pacific time, we do have confirmation that the main shoots have deployed, and you can see that on your left-hand screen of a camera looking forward uh, above the Dragon capsule, looking at those four main shoots. 1,000. Copy, 1,000. 
<laughs> the next event coming up now is a visual confirmation of Splashdown. You can see the Dragon Capsule on your right-hand screen uh, slowly coming down now. We've, we've talked about how fast the vehicle uh, has been traveling, um, but they will be touching down approximately 15 miles per hour when they touch the uh, Atlantic Ocean there. 800, <laughs> We copy 800. Now, the, the Dragon One program had great success with the water landing with 20 successful splashdowns over the course of that program, nine of which were carried out by flight proven Dragon spacecraft. And this is a great shot. Dragon continuing to descend back towards Earth again, targeting a landing, uh, excuse me, a splashdown off the coast of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. Copy 600. Copy 400. Two hundred, we're bracing. Copy 200. Inspiration 4, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home to planet Earth. Your mission has shown the world that space is for all of us and that everyday people can make extraordinary impacts in the world around them. Thank you for sharing your leadership, hope, generosity, and prosperity. And congratulations on your incredible journey. Thanks so much, SpaceX. It was a heck of a ride for us. It's just getting started. Coffee just getting started. So welcome back, <laughs> Inspiration 4, the Dragon Resilience Capsule has returned, the crew has returned. Uh, what a phenomenal, phenomenal visual that we got. Um, and I love that Jared said, we're just getting started. <laughs> right, this is the beginning uh, of their journey, uh, of the next steps to the new era in, in human space flight. Um, and just, you know, what, the, what an incredible mission. What an amazing um, view watching them touch down and splash down into the Atlantic Ocean. You could hear the crowd here so excited to welcome the crew back home. Yes. So uh, we do have a couple of events uh, that need to happen first before we can start to uh, uh, get the crew out of the capsule. So you can see some boats headed towards Dragon. Um, and uh, you know the first job is to make sure that the area around Dragon is safe to approach, and then we'll go in there and start uh, rigging the uh, Dragon up to be able to hoist later on onto our main recovery vessel. So uh, we also heard that uh, Jared had uh, given us the confirmation of stable one. What that means is Dragon has um, splashed down and is upright. There's also a stable two. Um, Dragon can actually be um, upside down or sideways. Um, it is 
waterproof and has systems where it can pump seawater into some bladders to help keep it upright. So um, again, stable one is the, the best possible scenario that we can achieve and that's what we see on screen right now. And just something to note, um, there are going to be a few operations that happen um, before the crew can get out of the capsule. So they will be strapped into their seats, remain strapped into their seats um, throughout the, this and these operations until uh, basically until hatch open uh, once we have the Dragon capsule on board the recovery vessel.